Coming to you all the way from Norfolk, Virginia, Go On Podcast presents The Sexperts. Turn on your computer, dial up the web, download some information into your head. It's Dr. John and Delilah, they're having a great time. Gotta to do it simply true, we're the Sexperts. And we're recording and entry music, entry music, entry music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Hayder, free range florist. Free range florist. Uh, we are the sexperts. I'm sorry, I gotta go back. Uh, free range florist. Is it the flowers that are free range? Or are you yourself, like, free, like, to walk around and pick flowers? Um, it's a little bit of both, but oh. primarily we're talking about the flowers in this case. <laughs> primarily the flowers. Okay. Uh, um, you tell me what you're looking for. I go out and I find it. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, so you just kind of wander the hillsides. So if you're out in the hillsides, watch out, wear your mask, and also look out for Delilah. <laughs> we are the uh, the sexperts. We've been your sexperts for a long time now, so you're probably used to us, but we're always trying to spark a little spark and kind of get inside your, your love cockles and, and whatnot. Um, Sexperting since antiquity. Yeah, yeah. The Roman aqueducts, those were flowing with uh, love juices from the sexperts, I guess. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, go on ahead, eighth, Delilah. On the eighth day, God created sexperts. Yeah, yeah, and people people don't think about the eighth day. <laughs> okay. Let's, we're the sexperts. So excited, Jesus. about day seven. Yeah, I know. It's, it's hard to cram all that knowledge in one hour <laughs> church session. Uh, we're coming to you live every week from a different location with a different topic. Uh, I, due to COVID, am not in a different location. I'm hunkered down in my COVID bunker with my uh, wife, Mildred, who's in an iron lung right next door. So I can't talk too loud. Uh, catch me on that, Delilah. But where are you, where are you uh, coming from, Delilah? You called it the hillside. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't, I can see, I mean, I can see the, the sun shining on there. Uh, it's which- a beautiful day out here. Um, I will say it's getting a little bit close to winter and the flowers oh. are few and far between. But yeah. uh, I've got nothing but time. That's got to be a seasonal so thing, I'm, bud. I'm going to keep on looking. That's got to be a seasonal thing, bud. You know, you 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 can't do you have a backup plan. I got the 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 roof I put over my family's head and the food I put on their table is not seasonal. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be out here. Okay. Earning my pay. Um, the old fashioned way. Well, what is seasonal is our topic of the day because we have a different one every single darn week. And this the week. We show with a weekly topic of the day. <laughs> this week, it's very special. Uh, a lot of times we've been doing stuff with COVID. We're kind of getting the, uh, the, 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 the vaccine is coming. Um, so we're getting to the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so I decided to go back to something that hasn't been in vogue for a while politics. So, uh, the topic of the day today, uh, which, I, I, I've heard around town, and I'm very surprised they want to do this, but some people actually want to, the topic of the day, demolish the clitoral college. And it's it's crazy. I mean, for some Demolish people, or abolish? Demo- well, I, I think it may be... I, I've I'm heard, pretty sure those people were chanting abolish. I don't... I wrote it down in my in my, my Moleskine notebook. So demolish I, is violent. Abolish okay. can be achieved through peaceful legal means. Okay, well, uh, let's let's go both ways with that one. So, abolish, demolish the clitoral college. We're going to talk all about that. The relationship between uh, politics, uh, specifically with uh, you know um, vaginas, and uh, what's going on in the it's electoral what, It's sort of what um, the framers envisioned vaginas to be versus what they've grown to be in right. modern times. And but. the framers knew a little bit about politics. But they didn't know a lot about sex. But we do. Before we get into that, and I want to hear her perspective. We're going to introduce our uh, our guest. And uh, hi there, welcome. Who are you? What What are you all about? Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Wicked Peggy Bone Chewer. I'm the foremost bog witch in the southeastern United States. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe. You know, I've been watching the Queen's Gambit, and when you look at that, you're like, oh my God. To, to pluck somebody out at the top of their game and then just look at that cross section of their life, you're rooting for them to go all the way. And we have the foremost bog witch from, did you say Southeast? In the Southeastern United States. The correct. Southeastern United States, yeah. And I think you could go all the way. You could go all the way to Moscow. You could be the biggest, baddest bog witch. They don't witch. have bogs in Moscow. <laughs> do, do they Do they not? They don't have bogs. Oh, ton, okay. not a, there's not a, not a damn bog in the entire um, frozen tundra. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, and go through your name again. Is that, um, I, I'm sure that wasn't your name at birth, but. 
Um, Wicked Peggy Bone Chewer. Pe- okay, so should we call you Wicked Peggy? Wicked Peggy, it's kind of like Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> okay i got that okay so wicked peggy um for those people out there uh i've read about you in uh bog witch weekly um what goes into being a bog witch um lots of stews i would say my work is probably about 80 percent stew based um maybe 15 percent interior decorating um wow the other five percent probably bog spells um, ah, okay. Mostly bog relate, like keeping people out of the bog or trapping people in the bog. Um, it just kind of depends on my mood. Yeah, uh, you know that's that's a lot of people when they they hear about a glamorous, you know, uh, sort of um, uh, vocation such as you know NASCAR uh, racing, sex birding, bog witching. They think about the stuff they see like on TV or, or they they hear about readily like for sex birds it's the whole having sex part but that's the, that's the tip of the iceberg there's a whole under iceberg underneath all that and you say <laughs> bog witching is 80 percent stews which surprises even stew. me i'm not i'm not just a witch i i do also concentrate on stew what about what about stews <laughs> yeah. what? Oh, let's talk about these stews um <laughs> it's mostly it's just one stew oh wow oh, it's just a stew yeah. chewy bone stew chewy bone stew now is this just for yourself for a coven i i, I live alone well no oh. I, I do have one familiar a parrot oh a parrot um, feathered billy cracker chewer feather billy cracker chewer mm-hmm. feather billy cracker chewer wow yeah. he's not very into stew okay all yeah. right so you're you're just you're 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 making stew for one oh, stew for one bad pairing one. i always hate it but when crackers and stew go very well together <laughs> Um, did your familiar choose you or did you choose your, your familiar? I, I, I asked because recently I've been kind of, what's uh, you, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I asked cause I've been thinking about my relationship with my wife, Mildred. And you know, when we met, she wasn't in the iron lung cause the, um, the polio didn't strike her down yet. So I was thinking kind of which came first, chicken or egg, you know, what, what's going on there. So I thought you were at an iron lung speed dating thing. <laughs> no, that exists though. That exists. Uh, <laughs> It, it it's like a silent disco like looking out it looks like very <laughs> dumb it's like where are these people dancing to but there's a lot of activity that goes on in iron lung but um uh, talk about your familiar how'd you how'd you guys meet how'd we meet mm-hmm. um familiar.com i don't know if you're familiar with that <laughs> <laughs> boom we were matched yeah okay oh yeah. okay did you have any previous familiars that maybe just didn't work out or um no okay that's fine <laughs> so <laughs> don't be embarrassed uh, dr I mean, john dr john we we don't talk much about the time we met jesus do you want to go in that now is that the, no I, I i we had to get to the topic of the day i, I don't want to talk about that now let's get to uh demolishing the clitoral are you, college are you just blowing me off today because no i want to talk about the topic of the day listed, you listed a, a a list of um esteemed careers and professions and you left out free range florist well i didn't know that and now it's... i want to talk about the time we met and you don't have time for that i like, didn't I, I i said the word vocation are we so... hosting a podcast together or are we just <laughs> i i said the word vocation i wasn't f- quite familiar with uh free range florist as a vocation i didn't know that i thought maybe more a hobby or just kind of something you do on the side i, I don't know wow oh so okay okay on. well all right <laughs> listen i don't mean to where where is old billy feathers can we get that guy out here where is he he's asleep oh okay <laughs> familiars <laughs> familiars got a familiar by the way usually <laughs> like you know like um what is the uh matching for farm people what is that service called oh um, the Farm day. I know what you're talking about. Farmersonly.com. Farmersonly.com. Yeah. It's weird that the familiar version is just familiar.com. Like, I, I'm surprised they snatched that one up, but that's that's great. They probably spell it. You think yeah. farmer.com is still available? I, I don't know. I, I, farmer.gov is probably a thing. Do you know shit about URLs? <laughs> Whoa, you are pissed off at me, Delilah, aren't you? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just going to talk to my friend, um, Peggy here, Wicked Peggy. I'm Wicked sorry, Peggy. sorry, Wicked Peggy. That's like calling Mary. Wow, Ann, now just you're Ann. differentiating her as your friend, and me as not your friend. <laughs> now I didn't say that again. It's Jesus. like you're mincing words here. Okay, uh, you're both my friends, but friend Wicked Peggy. 
Um, what, we what could Peggy has no friends, but I appreciate it. Oh, well, now I'm. Wow, you just got shut out. Don't pretty, come, I'm a very don't come running back to me for friendship. Very solitary. <laughs> This is this, this is like the opposite of like a uh, a love triangle. This is like a hate triangle. <laughs> I don't know. How that, okay. Um. So, talk to me about what kind of projects you're into besides stew. What's going on right now? Any spells you're working on? What's um, in the stew? What's don't, in the chewy chewy bones? Chewy bones. I, I, yeah. We we already established that, Delilah. Let's get to the we spells. Peggy bone chewer. I feel like I've been. There's really no no, no vegetables. <laughs> just but I. It's a it's a broth. Yeah. Oh, it's a broth. Do you cook? I think of stew as more of a gravyish consistency, but <laughs> okay, not a well, broth. We don't have a lot of gravy in the in the bog. Don't have a whole lot of access to flour. Oh well, um, <laughs> I have a truck full of free range flour. <laughs> that was quite the um, setup there. Uh, okay. Again, the more interesting thing here, Delilah, is the spells. I know it's only five percent of your time, but working on a little love spell, working on like uh, you know, stock market spell. What what, what you got? Yeah, uh, bog spells mm. exclusively. Okay, it you know, keeping well, people out of the bog, keeping people in the bog. Whoa, that's like any celebrities. Yeah, any celebrities. Any celebrities? Yeah, we're a little celeb obsessed. Celeb obsessed. <laughs> We don't get a ton of celebs in the bog. Okay. Not even um uh Matt Damon. Who you thinking? Who you th- uh Keanu. Who are you thinking of? The guy that was married to Robert Redford. Angelina Jolie, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. He seems like a bog type. He does seem a bog person, yeah. I could see I could see him. He has not frequented my bog. Mm. Do, are there other bogs and do you are oh, yeah. you in contact with the the those who haunt and protect those bogs yes um so there are bogs um in the west oh for sure yeah western um, bogs western yes bogs. so I, I all the other bog witches we are all related um uh, the western bog the foremost western bog witch is actually my sister no shit yeah is um is it kind of like a good witch bad witch sort of thing like uh in wizard of oz um, well, yes, Evil Jenny Bone Chewer <laughs> is definitely the good girl. But she's called Evil Jenny. That's Is it like calling a, a fat it's person a slim meaning. or something? Oh, okay. It's like bad meaning good. Ah, like um, that's weird. How did you acquire your bog? Was it a conquest or le- left to you by your parents? Or... So great, great question. Left to me by my parents. Um, I, just getting this out of the way, yeah. I am a trust friend. Bog witch. So <laughs> most of the things that I, I I've inherited my wealth, um, ah. which you know some people would be embarrassed about. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to not hawk nude eyes to make a living. Do you think if you had had to work hard to earn your bog, maybe your percentage of time spent on stews versus spells would be a little bit different? Oh, potentially. Um, I mean, I, I still am very proud of my home. I Like yeah. I said, I spend about 15% of my time interior decorating. I'm very big oh. into HGTV. No um, shit. My hut is made of, of uh, bones. Okay. Unsurprisingly. Wow. Yeah, and you mentioned yeah. uh, newt eyes. So uh, you're you're kind of a, a hunter as well, it sounds like. How, how does... Do you have a little bow and arrow? What you got? Um, I'm more of a gatherer. Oh, I oh. just kind of I, I'm like a, a crow. So you wait for things to die. You're kind of you kind of scavenge. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm really just interested in the bones. Yeah. Wow. Waiting waiting for things to die is sort of uh, Doctor John's approach to his marriage. Good. Oh my God. Wow. wow. You are so lucky. She's in an iron lung and she couldn't hear that one. Usually I uh, plug in. I'm lucky uh, or you're lucky. I- I, I, usually I plug I'm, in an eighth, inch, truth. an eighth inch jack and, and into her iron lung so she can listen through the speakers, but uh, not today. She's she's watching her stories. Um, well, okay, let's get to speaking of stories. Uh, I think the biggest story of this year is the whole election thing. So I do want to get your perspective, Wicked Peggy, uh, on demolish or abolishing, excuse me, or I, I still say ab- demolish, demolishing the clitoral college. Um, so one thing that we can be sure of hold is up, that hold Georgia... Up, hold up. Yeah. Did, 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 do bog witches go to college? Ooh. Well, maybe some do. I didn't have to with my trust fund. What, what do they study, though? Is there a whole major in bog witchery, or what's that? Um, there's uh, s- 
Stu studies. Mm. I studied independently. I, I don't feel like you need a degree for Stu's. Yeah. Not if you're just making one. No. I just perfected <laughs> that one. I, I don't need to go to college, you know? Yeah. You know, KFC, they found those 13 special ingredients and they they didn't look back. Why change yeah. something? You Why, just roll with it. You just roll with it. Yeah. I agree. Um, do, do you, I mean, I, I, you seem like a strong independent bog witch, but do you ever get lonely? No. Is it because a uh, little PD or? Um, no, I, I don't know how to tell really? you this being on this podcast, yeah. but, um, I, I am asexual. Oh, okay. Large, bog witches are largely asexual. Wow. Okay. So I really don't long for much companionship. Wow, not even friendship, um, mentorship. Not even, those who, not even those who your spell have kept in the bog against no. their will. No, I, I'm totally in that for the bones. Wow, oh, that's a bone thing. Yeah, it's a bone thing. Hey, so is Bone Thugs in Harmony? Um, I do want to ask you because I hit on something. What about mentorship? You ever maybe thought about having little bog witch underneath you? You know, kind of showing her the ropes. You know. Uh, maybe taking over the the and southeast, then collecting our bones. Uh, ooh, I I didn't think of that, but maybe if she's no good, yeah, or if she is good. I'm always after some bones. Is there such thing as a bog warlock? Ooh, not to my knowledge. Uh, or is this like teachers and nurses? They're all all women. Wait, wait. Just like that. Hold on. Uh, as a midwife, as a senior certified professional midwife, I have to take umbrage where a lot, there was a lot of sexism flying around where I'd be like, oh, I'm a midwife. And they look at me and be like, uh, you, a midwife? I'm like, yes, there are male midwives as well. You <laughs> still got the scars on your forehead for where you broke that glass ceiling <laughs> at midwifery school. <laughs> that's right. Okay. That's, that's right. I can remember everybody at midwifery school was just crying and clapping that finally a man had achieved such yeah. great heights. I know. I, I I still want to be humble about it though. So I had a I had a I had a mentee that actually didn't work out. So if I was a bog witch, I would have taken his bones. Um, his name was Jack. Uh, Jack Abrams. His name was Jack Abrams. Um, he, he he was born to be a mechanic. You know. He had mechanic when you're in there, you know, with you know the the lady parts. You can't treat them like engine parts, okay? You're gonna, you can't, you can't. So I try to tell him that, and he just he, yeah. I, I don't want it. Yeah. Anyways, more about you. Yeah, so speaking of being too, speaking of being too rough on the lady parts. <laughs> oh 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 yes yes. Oh, that was a great set. I'm surprised that I did that one myself. Uh, speaking of uh of being rough on the lady parts, I do want to get to our topic of the day, uh, which is demolishing the clitoral Stop college. Stop saying demolish. Okay. Well. You're, you're provoking violence. I'm not pro abolish. I'm saying it's I'm saying legal. I'm saying it's that it's a, a thing. thing. I know. Well, okay, okay. Abolish. We'll say abolish. We'll put that on the website. Um. Anyways, I want to get your perspective, uh, Wicked Petty Peggy. But uh, is that? I, I'm sorry to, to kind of peek in your business. It looks like there's somebody peeking through the cracks of your bone hut, like they want in. Do, do you see? Is that an intruder of some sort out, outside there? <sighs> I get these every winter. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Are you, wow. You're doing something really weird with your hands. Are you doing some <laughs> sort of like spell? Oh my God. You're summoning a skeleton. What the hell could is you, Could you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's the worst time for this. I'm so sorry. Can you just, ex one second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it it's looks like watching like the sausage get made. It's just stew this time. Oh my God. Okay. Well, it looks like it may be all the time. Oh, oh my God. She's like, uh, the skeleton is ripping the flesh off the say Okay, we're gonna have to wrap this episode up. I'm so sorry we didn't get to our topic today, which is abolishing the the uh, clitoral college. But uh, we'll put up on our website, uh, and we'll ask our uh, attorney to kind of put up some some legal studies for you there. Uh, uh, that's it for the sex experts. Uh, I'm your host. Uh, uh, oh wait, she's back. Uh, hey, uh, Wicked Peggy, just for a second. Sorry, I, I know you're busy. Do you have any 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 last words for uh, or, or anything you want to plug? Anything you want to put out there uh, for our yeah. listeners? Um, I would love if everyone came to the bog. Mm. No reason why. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, sounds, sounds good to me. I'm I'm running out of flowers here on this hillside. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a, a summer vacation home. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you so much, Wicked Petty. Hey, Peggy, that's it for this experts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Elanis, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair, uh, disrespected sexpert. 
<sighs> we'll see you next time. Oh, am I supposed to say something? <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to the Sexperts podcast that go on podcast production. If you like what you heard and you want to keep this little show going, then please consider donating at paypal.me slash sexpertspodcast or donate a dollar a month at patreon.com slash sexpertspodcast.